Is it Samaruga? Please listen to one minute. Allow me to approach you, one man, please. We have 13,000 Ukrainian investors. We are suffering from radar attack from Kyiv city state administration. Help! 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 And nobody can touch him. He's organizing regular attack. We are living on the streets, middle class Ukrainians. Please help. Hello, help. 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 tell Zelensky. Please tell Zelensky that he should help us. Help, please. He's indifferent, killing families. He's silent. He should serve to ordinary people, not big businesses, not oligarchs. Help. It's hitting Ukrainian investment climate. Help us! 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 Today, President of Switzerland, Simonetta Samaruga, laid the flowers to the heroes of Maidan, which were killed six years ago for freedom, for justice in Ukraine. As of now, there is no justice, there is no freedom, financial freedom, there is no investment climate in Ukraine. These people, investors of Bank Arcada, they are living on the streets in tents for two months. They are marching by the streets demanding justice. The Bank Arcada has faced radio attack two years ago, organized by Kyiv City State Administration, supervised by the mayor Vitaly Klitschko. Herr Klitschko and his minions have organized radio attack of one on one of the residential construction projects, but you are the late. Then, the owner of Bank Barcada, Mr. Toliud, a frozen construction of two other big residential projects. In result, 13,000 Ukrainians, middle-class Ukrainians, have lost their investments and live on the streets now. We demand solemn investigation into actions of Vitaly Klitschko, Kiev City Council, and Polivoda. We demand justice. President Zelensky is silent. He's indifferent to the fate of 30,000 people with families. We demand justice. We are asking the European community to help us, to tell our powerful people in Ukrainian government to stop support radio attacks to stop Kyiv city state administration, to force Polivodov get back money and resume building of our homes. President Zelensky is silent. He's indifferent. We are marching under his windows for two weeks. Nobody has come out. Nobody has come to us, to speak to us, to listen to us. Where is justice? What for? These people died six years ago, heroes of Maidan. We live in tents. Government doesn't listen to us. They don't, don't want to do anything. They serve only to big businesses, to oligarchs, to their puppet masters, sponsors, but not ordinary people, common Ukrainians. We have various among us. 
300 people who served in anti-touristic zone in Donbass. They didn't ask money in government. They invested their own money to build their homes. We demand justice. We ask the European community to help us. We demand justice. 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 Thank you very much.